GMS really well. He's a blessing to the whole collection. The GMS, stop and listen, preach a call. Uh, looking at, um, inter, you know, er, search, surfing the internet, man. Looking at videos brothers are doing. Just trying to stay in the spirit. And I know it's the brother Ironclad put this video up on this he this 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 uh this chanted disgruntled nigga man. And then you know what? When I really was looking at the video, he could be an Edomite. Could be possibly Edomite. We'll find out when the angels separate. But our people they are just, they have, when you read in Hosea 4 and 6, man, I'll just get right into it. It says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. My people, meaning Israel, the Lord's chosen. The Lord chose the Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans to be a people, special people to him, separate from everybody else. A holy people, man, who were given the law, statutes, and commandments to live by. They are destroyed for that lack of knowledge. Why? Why they have that lack of knowledge? Because they have, they have ran and dibbled and dabbled and played the whore and went to these other philosophies, man. And part of those other philosophies stem all the way to today. These people go to these Baptist and Methodist churches and Pentecostal churches every Sunday. They indoctrinated with the, with the funk. So therefore, they have no understanding of what the scriptures are saying. You know, and matter of fact, I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to jump right here to uh, Isaiah 6 and 9 because the Lord Yahweh actually did it to you, man. You know, it says, and he said, go and tell this people, Israel, hear ye indeed, but understand not and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes. Least they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and be converted and be healed. So the Lord is actually doing this to you. You can hear, you can hear, hear these words of understanding go out, but you just can't get it. He shut, he shut your, your, your. He shut your penal gland down to understand the knowledge of the scriptures. You might understand the knowledge of fixing a car or a bicycle or fixing an AC or whatever. But to understand what the Lord is saying in these prophecies and events that are happening and how you understand through the scriptures and how, how to live through the scriptures. You don't understand. You don't comprehend because the Lord shut you down. He told you right here. Is it Romans? Is it 11? Is it Romans 11? Romans 11 and 9. And David said, let their table, meaning these scriptures, be a snare. A snare. A snare and a trap. So. Huh. Trying to look up the word for it. Point to reach a place and time and purpose. But a snare and a trap and a stumbling block. A stumbling block. Scalion. An impediment placed in the way of causing one to stumble or to fall on occasion. So the Most High has made these scriptures impede your your truth truth your 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 really your true thinking. You read these scriptures and you you go out there and on your own and you think that is saying one thing and it's saying another and it, 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 it messes you up. It really, it, it kills you. It's like committing suicide. You know, it's like committing suicide when you don't know the scriptures and then you try to read and break them down and the Lord hasn't given you that discernment. It's better off. You never even looked at the scriptures 
and a recompense unto them. So, hey, man, it's going to be payback for you ones who are, are doing this scoffing, man. This level of scoffing that you're doing. Just sit back and listen to the prophets. Learn the men of the Lord and learn, man. But it's only the it's all for the elect. So if you're not part of the elect. Hey, we see why you're doing it. It says my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. And that's what you do. Reject it. Right. Meaning you despise it, refuse it. You know. You don't want to hear that 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 Eve was dibbling dabbling in philosophies. You want to really believe they ran through the garden and grabbed fig leaves and sold them up real quick while the Lord was looking for them to hid themselves. It only makes sense. You really want to believe everybody everybody can make it. You don't want to hear that the Lord is going to destroy two thirds of his own people and destroy these Edomites and destroy this whole system. You refuse it. You despise men when they talk, they speak on these prophecies. You reject knowledge. The Lord said, I will also reject thee. So he's going to reject you. He's going to refuse you. He's going to turn you over to the sword. He's not going to rescue you in that time of trouble. He won't be that. He won't be that shield and buckler for you or that shadow. He will not take you on his wing. It says, I will also reject thee and thou shalt be no priest to me. And that's what we're working for, that crown of being being those men, being priests, man. Like the brother, uh, 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 Elder Priest Joshua Wama said, he said, hey, we, we working for a, a bigger call, man. You know, we working, he had said, one, we used to talk, you know, we talk a lot. He said, hey, that's what we're working for. You know, I saw a video he did. He said he, he just told the brother, hey, just shut up and listen, man. That's what you want to tell all of them. Just shut up and listen. Be be more ready to, to hear than get what a sacrifice of fools. Please, yes, he's fine. It says, seeing thou has forgotten the law of thy power. Yeah, you forget forgotten the law of the power, man. You see it every day. Sodomites, cats shaving their heads, shaving their beards, eating pork, you know, celebrating these holidays, hook, line, and sinker. You've forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. Your generation forgot it. Guess what? The generation before that forgot it. And he said, I will forget thy children. You are the children of those generations that didn't even know the truth. So you they children. And the Lord gonna forget you also, man. So these people's death, death is gonna come to you. If you don't quit scoffing and just sit back and listen to the men of the Lord break these scriptures down and these prophecies and learn just what to do in order for you to uh have a chance on getting out of here, man. You know, I, I go back to what uh Yashawama said, Yashawama said, man. He said, man, I'm just preaching, man. I'm just out here preaching the word, how we supposed to, and, and hope that I get out of here. And that's what we all doing. We hoping, man. And what kills me, you jakes, hey, we out here with Bibles in our hands. But you, you, you big up cats who out there with guns in their hands. We trying to teach you knowledge and they trying to take your take your your weekly paycheck. You know, but hey, man, we we pray Yahabashim Yahushai come soon and destroy you two thirds. And with that, all praise, honor and glory be to the Heavenly Father, the Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakakodash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, the GMS who rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. GMS, stop and listen. Shalom.